Davenport is home to a champion dance team. Dance Works won first place at a national dance team competition in Florida. KWQC Sarah Jones is here and earlier she met with the dancers and their coach. Sarah. These girls are all around 12 years old and they may look like your average tween, but as soon as the music starts, they have their game face on and they mean business. And when these athletes were in Florida, they were there to win. As they walked on stage, nerves were raw. When you first, like, when you're waiting for the music to start, like, that's when it's the most nerve-wracking for me because I, like, feel like I'm going to forget what I'm doing. <laughs> but then as soon as the music starts, it's, like, perfectly fine. This is the dance routine that earned the DanceWorks Royal Palm Team first place at the UDA's National Dance Team Competition in Orlando, Florida at Disney's ESPN Worldwide of Sport Complex. They walked out with their chins up and their big smiles and like, oh, they are so ready for this. Um, and this Nationals was in Disney World, so they walked out of a background castle. Um, kind of makes your heart pitter-patter. Um, and you just hope that they go out there and do the best that they can so that they're happy with their performance. The girls say when it was down to the top three, they knew they placed and were hoping they earned first. We all sit there and hold hands with each other and look down and we're all like shaking and really scared. Our hands get really sweaty. <laughs> and then when their names were called? This is that us. And then we normally like scream and jump up and down because we're so excited. I'm really proud of us, like all of the obstacles we took to get there. Success requires consistency and hard work and that often means sacrifices. I used to play softball and when I got to a certain age, it was starting to get a lot. So I had to pick which one I loved more and obviously it was dance. We're at the dance studio a lot and so sometimes we can't like go certain places, but that's okay because we're here. Sometimes you have practice on Friday night and like some people are like, you have, you have to dance on Friday night. So how often do these champions practice? On Wednesdays, on Mondays, a lot of times some of us come like even when we're not supposed to have class just to work on stuff. Um, we take technique classes. We work on the weekends, but it's a lot. <laughs> but a dance team is more than just training together. They're like your sisters. Yeah. Their coach, Lisa Schmidt, has been dancing since she was a child and says what she loves most about teaching is witnessing the transformation in their technique and their confidence. She says even the shyest of students become more confident. Well, they look great. Now, these dance students say being a part of dance and seeing that hard work improves their technique makes them want to work harder in school as well.